here at Weber State practice. I've been coming to practice every day, Kev, and it's a whole different attitude fucking practice than last year. Oh, way different. I mean, it's, first of all, it's more way, 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 way more organized than last year. Yeah. Some of that may be the fact that they're able to practice up here. Last year, they had to do it out on the practice field. Sure. But I think it's because the, uh, they're just more organized, and they're much, much, much more intense this year. Oh, boy. These assistant coaches, I think, are told Mickey where the bear shits. I think so, too. And uh, so, but anyway. And I think that's probably a reason. I'm, I'm sure that there was a come-to-Jesus meeting, as you as you terminology, terminalize yeah. it, because uh, it looked like all the assistants were going to leave last year, but they all stayed. And they're fired up, boy. And these practices have been intense, so I've been talking to all the players. So, first off, uh, the great, great, incredible Dwayne Thomas died today. And we have a hook here on this very field. You know, Homer, Hagen, yep. he's still around. I talked to him. He's still around. You know, that famous trade when Dwayne Thomas, that 71-70 Dallas Cowboys team was so fantastic. And he was so good. Remember, he told Tex Scram and Tom Landry to, they wouldn't give him any more money. So that famous trade where they traded Dwayne Thomas to, you know, the paper when in his career was, that was, that was uh, him. He played here, Hogar. What's happening? How you doing? And so he, uh, then he was part of the electric company. Dwayne Thomas died uh -huh. today. But so before I forget, Opeta tore his ACL. Oh, that hurts. That's too bad because. Because I think he was going to start Tampa Bay. Yeah. So Jonah Williams is with the Vikings. So, TJ, of course, Bills, Rashid, Rashid right now. <laughs> I mean, TJ's the highest paid nickel back in the NFL history. Yeah, that's all. And Rashid, when he finally becomes a free agent, you know, he'll probably be one of the highest paid guys in NFL history, period. So, but to this team, remember what I told you last year, this time of year right now about uh -huh. this team? I said, as Bankston goes, this team will go. He had a buck sixty nine at Northern Iowa, fantastic. He had one hundred sixty nine yards rushing, yep. and they were huge underdogs, and they kicked their ass. And so he got hurt, and it fell apart. So you know what I say this year? As as banks and goes, so goes the team. He's that fucking good. So, but I'll tell you what woke me up on this team. You know, and I was so pissed off about what happened last year. Oh, I know. Everybody was. Me too. But, so, they got these badass new young offensive linemen. And he, uh, so, you know, Wilson's preseason All-American. Yep. You know, he's Farmington High School. You know, his dad's been a woman like us. But he, uh, by the way, his grandfather played here, he told me. His name was Larry Wilson, not to be confused uh -huh. with the Larry Wilson Hall of Famer from the University of Utah from Rigby. But anyway, they had a fight here the other day. And Vi, he picked that fucking Wilson up and body slammed him to the ground so fucking hard. It was unbelievable. It was, I mean, a fight. And I'm like, oh. So I told him today, I said. offensive lineman that can do that to Braden Wilson. Oh, You've got a badass. You ain't a shit. And I was like, whoa. So I told him today, I said, I said hey, you got to fucking quit picking on these All-Americans like that. <laughs> <laughs> but they're young. You know, the Olympus High kid looks fantastic. And so, I... Uh, They're playing with a lot more passion, it seems passion to me. and fire than they did at the same same stage in practice last year. That's what I think. You know, of course, Winston Reed's with the uh, Browns. Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, Browns. From what I understand, now I don't know this, but I think that he's still in the Denver camp, Esther. And Maxwell Anderson, I haven't heard, but he was... Trying to make the practice squad for the 49ers. He hasn't been cut yet from my hair. So. I don't know for sure, but so lots of new faces out here this year. That's the guy we don't give enough credit right there. Sharp. Oh, yeah. That dude can run, man. And then, you know, Butler, who they switched. Both of them used to be DBs. Butler's playing DB again. So Jalen Rock's running zero this year. Uh -huh. hey, AC. By the way, turn up the fucking AC. This smoke, it's only 105 degrees every day, all day. Comier from Texas, he's wearing two. 
They got five quarterbacks. And all of them are good? They all look good. You know, they got the transfer from Snow. He looks real good, but uh, Jennings from Ohio, he looks good. You know, and so there goes Butler Ritchie right there. Gutierrez looks fucking good. God, he threw a pass the, here the other day, but whoa, because he's finally gotten healthy. Uh-huh. So the offensive linemen, they're young. I mean, they lost it, but, you know, Coach Myers is such a good coach. And then this, all these young DBs with uh-huh. Andre Dyson. And so I like them. I mean, what I've seen so far. You know what the question is going to be for me on this team? I don't worry about those DBs because of Andre Dyson. Yeah. We lost Jack Burge as a punter. That's yep, a that's big a, question mark. Hard. He's a Texas Tech. Of course, Jack Kelly gone, but I think the question mark is going to be a quarterback. Now, I like Richie. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, last year was so iffy and so much a weird year. We haven't been able to see. He's going to get thrown into the fire here. Go up to Washington. So what do you think so far? I think the DBs have looked better than I thought. I mean, be, back before they were playing, right back when the quarterback had all the time in the world, there was a couple that would have been a coverage coverage sack because they they weren't he wasn't able to find an open guy despite the fact there was no pressure on him and he had all the time in the world. He still couldn't find an open guy. So there's Everett's one and twenty three now. He's finally healthy. They've been playing him at. Make a big difference. They've been playing him at uh, strong safety, at free safety, and then Hanson back there. So they're all tall three, and you know how, you know Jay Hill invented this. Adam Rodriguez, this is the Jay Hill position. Bryant comes up and plays with those four. They got four defensive linemen that are badass. Uh huh. You know the four. I call them the new purple people eaters. You got Thompson Birch. Matt Heron, and, of course, the All-American Wilson. But then they slide up Bryant on that edge. Uh-huh. But he really plays more like a linebacker to me. You know, so like Adam Rodriguez, he'll play him on the edge, and he's listed a defensive end just like Adam Rodriguez, but he'll slide back and play linebacker. He'll slide all the way back and play like a safety. That's the Jay Hill invention. Yeah. Remember Jay Hill used to do that with Adam Rodriguez? Yeah. And then Mortensen used to do the same thing. So, and the thing is, is then they got the Davis High kid Ryan wearing Winston Reed's year, number, but he wasn't healthy. He wasn't healthy. If he stays healthy this year, that's going to make that'll be a difference maker, big time. So, talking to these guys, they got serious in the weight room this summer. You know, Sharp, me and him was talking. He says he's been here for a while. He says, "No, we got serious." He says, "We're the strongest, we're the tightest we've ever been since I've been here." You don't see 900 guys limping around here and, you know, it looked like a damn triage here last year. We'll see. But they hit the weights. They got serious. So they're picked 22nd in the country. Uh-huh. So, you know, Abraham Williams I mean, is, uh, is at Idaho. Four, I believe there's still four big sky teams in the top 10. Oh, yeah. Yep. You know, Montana, Montana State, Sac State, and Idaho. I th- here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Underthrown. <laughs> well, it's full interception. I, don't, I think he was out of bounds. but it That went was Hanson. It went off the first DB's back and bounced up, and then he yeah. caught the rebound. So, got a lot of local players. A lot. Got the new linebacker from uh, Perry from... Arizona, he looks thick and strong. Well, one of the things I, w- I was kind of worried about is after Jay Hill left, you know, how many local recruits were we going to be able to get? Well, this year we got a shitload. We, we got did. A, bunch. a whole bunch. Good ones. So this kid from Olympus High on the offensive line is a badass, I'm telling you. So they, uh, Christian, my nephew's on his Norman mission. He was defensive player of the year, Blanche. He'll be here next year, but... No, it's a whole different atmosphere, I think, yeah. than last year. It Just, is. I've been to practice every day except for yesterday. And maybe it's they get the this is the first time they've been able to play on a real field in our lives, right? Uh-huh. I mean that grass field was so fucked up and then they got that twenty eleven death field. That field was the fucking worst. You know. So 
Bankston, me and Bankston was talking. I said, you got to remember, Bankston, you're playing under the shadow of just a guy named Josh Davis. All he did was win the Jerry Rice Award. I mean, how fucking good was he? He was. But, and same with Kevin Smith. And so they, but that, this field, that field, I mean, it almost cost Rashid his career. Yep. So, what do you think? I, I think their schedule, look at this, this is Jennings. Or is that Smith? I think it's Smith because he's That's taller. Smith, That's, yeah. Because Smith is taller than Jennings. Fuck, Jennings looks fat. Well, they all look good, you know? So poised, and they got a host. All the, you know, I thought all the, the young guys stayed. You know, all these wide receivers are back. Yep. You know, Curry's thrower. Curry's and, the only one they lost due to transfer. Yeah. Record, sharp. And so, the, the kid from Sugar City, Neff, the tight end, the tumbler. Uh-huh. He looks pretty good. So, we'll be. it's all going to come down to how these young linebackers can play and these young guys. There's Andre Dyson right there. Yep. You know, I still say he's the best DB coach in the country. And, you know, and so talking to Duff the other day, I almost feel like these assistant coaches are like, you know, F you, Mickey, we're doing our thing. You know, I almost always had a Jay Hill feel about Duff the other day because I was asking him about <laughs> I don't give a shit who they put back there. He says, we're pitching a shutout against any of them. So, we'll see. All right. By the way, we're talking about legendary players who've played here. You're the greatest player who ever played on this field, as far as NFL goes. Bob Pollard. Oh, yeah. I got. Yeah, I sent a thing to Rashid. I'm like, Rashid, he's in the New Orleans Saints Hall of Fame. He's in the ring of honor. So, and then, of course, the other power, he played for the Niners. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Scott. Or not Scott. That's the basketball player, Daryl. Daryl, yeah. I... He was a badass here. And he was a great NFL player, but Pollard's still around. You know, he fucking, I mean. Well, I can say Pollard's probably the best now, but I think Rashid has the potential to become that in a few years. Well, the best player I ever saw in this field was Trevon Smith by far. Oh, yeah. Until, there's a fumble. Fumble. Birch calls that fumble. The best player I ever seen, no one even comes close here. Rashid Jaheed. Oh, yeah. And that's saying a lot. I mean, that guy was... So, and I mean, never, Pollard was great, but I mean, that one... He wasn't was Rashid Jaheed. Here, I was like about 12 years old, so I really wasn't into football that much. At well, that I watched them both play here, but uh, I'm old like you but uh yeah but when i was 12 years old my dad never came up to the football games we went up to some basketball games yeah but he never came up to the football games so i never got to come oh, up i to went the, to all of them back in those days but the best player i ever saw in this field was trevon smith by far he was such a badass oh my god i was god. in china when uh trevon smith was playing well he only had what 50 touchdowns <laughs> 4700 so, fucking yards well, i mean it's... but the best player I've ever seen. I got passed for Shi Oh, yeah. And we knew it. You and I called him out from fucking day one. Nobody would listened to us. By the way, I've come to the conclusion, the only thing dumber than an NFL scout, and they're not the sharpest tools. You know, Rashid non-drafted, are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. You fucking blind fuckers, we serve it up on the wall. The only thing dumber is a NBA scout. <laughs> At least Sam for the OKC had enough brains to take Dylan Jones in the first round. Oh, I know. The Jazz didn't. All right. So. Well, it'll be interesting to see if the Jazz. A lot of Jazz fans will say, well, the Jazz would have taken him at 29 had oh, had they not been taken earlier. Well, I, but I don't believe that. We were down there. I talked to Sam, and he told me right to my face. He says, we were taking him as low as we had to go. I says, were you going to take him in the top 10? Oh, yeah. We were taking him no matter what, just like I said. By the way, none of you guys have paid your bets up yet either. Everybody on this campus, including tons of players, bet me a stake at the timber mine that Rashid wasn't going the first round. Remember all those asshole fans we said, oh, including your buddy? Those guys. Oh, I know. They, they were wrong. They think they're experts. They don't know Jack. Oh, even, uh, what's his name, the sharp one, your buddy, that's right there. The old man just died. 
Oh, I know who you're talking about. I won't say the name, but no, he even told he even argued that he was going to say. Yes, I mean, but so what do we well, got? How Six? many times? How many times have I said this? And I've said it many times. I said two players when they were freshmen. I knew would be in the NBA. I didn't know if they'd be first round or not at that time. Oh, Lillard, and that was Jones. Lillard, and actually Dylan was the second year because it was the amount of progress I saw between his first and second years and knowing his work ethic, I knew he would progress to you the know, the NBA. Guy, oh, the guy that I always thought would be a superstar in the NBA was Jerry Carter. But we got six guys in the NFL off one team now. Uh-huh. Winston Reed's with the Browns, undrafted. Jonah Williams. Now, remember, every one of these guys I'm talking about got one offer to play in one team in the country. Yep. Jay Hill. Rashid Shahid, the world class, he would probably would have been alone in the Olympics. Uh huh. All six of those guys got one offer from Weber State. Well, Jay Hill. Winston Reed was a walk on. So you got Winston Reed, Rashid Shahid, Jonah Williams, Opeta, Stansbury High School. Uh-huh. And who am I forgetting? Adam Rodriguez. I'm forgetting somebody. You know, both TJs. We got a new TJ here, number 31, too. He's a well, person. Well, that's Rodriguez isn't in the NFL right now, so a lot of you guys, well, he's not in the he NFL. He was. He was, and he had offers but chose to stay in the NF- in the USFL because he likes it better. He wanted to play. That was his That was his decision to play in the USFL, not the NFL. That was his decision. Because yeah, he played the for the Rams, and he, did, and he didn't ever get on the field. Uh-huh. You know, John Williams, I think, will start. But every, all those guys coming off a big sky t- team that, by the way, Andre Dyson played in the NFL. <laughs> he was a good kind of, you know, I always say Andre Dyson and Jay Hill were such good DB coaches, such great defense. Because they were, they played the position. Yeah, and you know who they used to go practice every fucking day at University of Utah? Steve Smith. Can you imagine going, bump him, P.I. him, freaking crack you in the face so fast, make your head spin. Uh, Steve Smith could be my favorite NFL besides Bob Hayes in history. By the way, the great Dwayne Thomas, what a player. Too bad he... Didn't stick it out. So, anyway, long video, but I don't know. I I see a different attitude here this year than I saw last year. Yeah, I do too. And I so, do too. And it's Jennings is the quarterback now. Good handoff to the man. The man. It's Banks, it ain't it? Touchdown in the game. That would have been a touchdown from the fifty-yard line. That guy is that fucking good. I'm telling you. Oh, Bankston is. So, by the way, my prediction for the Big Sky Player of the Year. Damone Bankston is my guess. Because that's my choice. Bankston or Abraham Williams. Yeah. See him in the NFL. All right. Well, you can't be rude for no Idaho guy. Watch me. 